What's up, everybody? Welcome to Repair Station. My name is John, and on this edition of Repair Station, we're going to address a pretty common problem in these original PlayStations. Uh, sometimes you'll get a PlayStation in which the disc motor will stop spinning or it'll stop reading discs correctly. And while there are pretty uh, drawn out and intrusive ways of uh, cleaning up and repairing those components, I say it's a lot easier to just replace this whole uh, disc motor and laser assembly. It all comes out as one piece, so it's a lot easier to swap out, and I will show you how to do that today. The method that I usually use instead of going online and buying a whole new assembly, a lot of times it's cheaper to just go out and find at your local thrift store an entire new console. Uh, a lot of times they'll come without uh, controllers or cords, and they'll be pretty cheap because of it. Uh, I wouldn't pay more than five bucks for one. I happen to get this one for two, and I'm just using it for parts. Say something breaks down on one of my PlayStations, I can just Frankenstein something out of this and plop it into that. And that is just what we're going to do today, and I'll show you how to do it. Now, a couple things you'll have to look out for. Uh, first is the type of PlayStation you are pulling the uh, disc motor and laser assembly out of. Some of them are not compatible. You'll see uh, these two here look exactly the same, and that's all well and good, but sometimes you'll get an older model PlayStation in which this assembly is a bit different shape and it's uh, orientated in a different fashion. Also, I have not tried out the uh, slim PS1. While it does kind of look pretty similar if you hold it like that, um, I've been trying to swap it out, and personally, I don't want to hack this one up to find out. So, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but personally, I would try to stick with the same model PlayStation if you can. Now, tools you will need for this repair. The only thing you will need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, I believe this is a number two, if you're even into tools like that. Uh, but this is the only thing that you can need for the repair. Now, let's get started. All right, first things first, to crack into the case, uh, you will flip your PlayStation over and you will find five or six screw holes around the bottom of the case, and conveniently, they all have arrows pointing to them. Uh, there's nothing over them, and there's nothing special about them, just six screws. Go ahead and take them out. Once your screws are out, store them in a safe place and the top of the case should just lift right off. Now this right on top is our assembly. There are no screws holding it down, but there are some connections that you have to take off and you have to be very careful about it. First is this ribbon cable right here. If you can see this ribbon cable, you need to gently just pull it straight up. Try your best not to break anything in the process. Kind of gently wiggle back and forth and it should come right up. Then right beside it, is a connection with wires here and again that should pull right out be very careful not to pull the wires out of the connector because then you're pretty screwed so put your bad motor over to the side and repeat the same process with the good motors and make sure you keep all your parts separate uh, making sure that you don't swap up your good and bad motor and laser assemblies. Alright, now you will take your 
good motor and laser assembly from your parts PlayStation and set it up into the PlayStation that you want to put it into. Um, make sure that these rubber shock absorbers go into the three holes that they're designed to go in. Uh, that keeps uh, it pretty shock proof so your CDs don't skip. Insert your two connections. Start with the little wired guy. You just line them up, push them right on in. You'll feel a little click. And the same with this ribbon cable. Make sure it is squared in there. And just kind of wiggle it down in there until it won't go anymore. Then, installation is opposite removal. Put the lids back on, both of them, and uh, put all the screws back in. PlayStation and one very good as new working PS1 and remember also you can swap the laser uh, and disc motor assemblies between different regions too. This PlayStation is actually Japanese and uh, it still works so you can uh, swap them from whatever region that just fits. Guys thanks for checking it out. I hope this is helpful. If it was give the video a like give replay station a subscribe and we would really appreciate it thanks and have a good one for replay station this is john signing off